Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. As we all know, in the past, Chinese companies were not ranked in the field of memory chips. The global memory chip field is mainly concentrated in South Korean companies Samsung, SK Hynix, American companies Micron Technology and Western Digital, and Japanese companies Kyoxa. In this context, China has been facing a situation where the domestic market is monopolized by foreign companies for a long time. But as foreign blockades become more and more serious, Chinese companies gradually understand that they must master technology in their own hands, so they continue to research and increase investment in this area. But China's challenges are not only technological breakthroughs, but more external suppression. Just because foreign companies are afraid of losing the Chinese market and are afraid that the rise of China's memory chips will squeeze their global market share, they actively lobby to let the United States use technology to coerce China to abandon the development of memory chips. A typical example is Micron Technology. Micron Technology has a huge market share in the Chinese market. According to statistics, more than half of its revenue in 2017 and 2018 came from mainland China. Fearing that these revenues would drop sharply, Micron Technology has been actively instigating the United States to take action for several years, which has directly caused many Chinese companies to encounter the entity list, such as Yangtze Memory Technologies, Chongxin Memory Technologies, and other companies. But unfortunately, whether under their restrictions or their active strategy of adjusting prices to grab the market, China's memory chip industry has ushered in good results. On February 22, local time, South Korean media published an article stating that China's DRM manufacturer, Chongxin Memory Technologies, had a market share of 5% last year. Don't underestimate this 5% market share. According to British media reports, in the $90 billion DRM market, Chongxin Memory Technologies market share in 2020 was almost zero. In other words, in just four years, Chongxin Memory Technologies has achieved a breakthrough from $0 to $4.5 billion, completely emerging in the memory chip market. With such a rapid speed, it is no wonder that the British and Korean media can't sit still, and they have said that they should be vigilant otherwise they will be snatched away by Chinese companies. Seeing this, some netizens may be surprised. China only has 5% of the market share. They have so much in their hands. What is there to worry about? This is because the emergence of Changxin storage is likely to cause the situation of Japanese companies being eliminated in the past to reappear, and Korean companies may also be driven out of the Chinese market. 
Teclocytes, a well-known research company, say that although Chinese companies currently occupy a small market share, one thing cannot be ignored, that is, China's market is large and is still generating rapidly growing market demand. Just this point alone, Chinese companies are like holding a trump card. You know, domestic chip manufacturers are actively using domestic chips at this stage. Even if domestic chips are relatively low-end, they are unwilling to purchase foreign chips and put themselves in a situation of being stuck. This invisibly gives Chinese companies more market opportunities. Once they take more market share, the changes that will follow will be further improvements in production, the yield rate will increase and the cost of production will decrease. When this becomes a fixed situation, the demand in the Chinese market is still growing, so it is conceivable what the status quo of Chinese companies in the future memory chip industry will be. Coincidentally, in the 1980s and 1990s, South Korea used this method to drive Japanese companies out of the memory field. This is why the Korean media is so restless today. They are worried that they will become the Japanese companies of the year and be completely driven out of this country with a huge market share. But in my opinion, they also asked for it. When the United States imposed a technological blockade, although Korean companies were reluctant to give up Chinese companies, they had no choice but not to lend a hand to more companies in need, causing China to spend a dark semiconductor moment for a period of time. Perhaps they didn't expect that the United States had been blockading for so many years, and in the end it hurt itself. It's a pity that it's too late to regret now, because Chinese companies will no longer have core technologies in the hands of others, and China has to measure its own way. What do you think about this? Do you think the situation where Japanese companies were eliminated will happen to Korean companies again? Please leave comments, like and share.